all time will they fight? Uh, because a lot of people have been asking me. So here's what I think. I may be biased. I think Tyron won. I had to score five to three. Um, the way I saw it, he was more aggressive. He was stalking. And he landed more effective punches. Now, Jake definitely out-volumed him. But I did not think the volume was all that effective. So I scored a 5-3. I know I'm not a great boxing mind. But I follow Carissa Shields on Twitter. I think she kind of echo echoed the same sentiments that I did. So I think my opinion is pretty valid. Um, I thought that was pretty solid for his boxing debut. I know a lot of you guys are frustrated he didn't beat up Jake Paul. Listen, that's what I wanted to happen, too. I wanted him to knock Jake Paul's head off. He didn't get it done. Other thing that happened for me, I, I gained a lot of respect for Jake Paul. Now, I know he got TKO on me, but I knew I wasn't very good at boxing. I told all of you that, like, I'm not a very good boxer. I just think I'm better than he is. Okay? So when he got a knockdown on me, yeah, hey, whatever. He didn't earn my respect. Watching him versus Tyron, I have a lot of respect for Tyron's striking ability. And I think Tyron won the fight, but e either way, it was, it was a really highly competitive bout. And I think it's pretty evident. And the only way you're not going to think this is if you really hate the guy. And I don't hate him. I'm whatever towards him. Uh, pretty evident to me that he's worked pretty hard at this. And he's pretty tough. Right? He took some pretty big shots and tired and kept on fighting. So in that respect, he has earned my respect for sure. Uh, in, a, in a way that he didn't in my fight or any of the fights previously. Uh, now, I think him and Tyron happens again. And here's why. I think it happens. So while I have, I will definitely admit that Jake is working hard at this and he has achieved a relatively high level of boxing proficiency. I think the going from the level he's at to like a world champion level is a long ways, right? It's a little, long ways off. So Tyra was a world champion in mixed martial arts. And I think I've had the conversation with him and he, he would recognize that him versus a boxing world champion in boxing is it's, it's a tough matchup, right? It's not going to go all that well. Um, now in boxing, I think there's less big name guys than there is in mixed martial arts for sure. Right. And so you're not going to get to the big name boxers until you get the very, very top of the heap. If he goes to the top of the heap, he's not going to be competitive with them. Okay. And he needs someone else who's a big name across the bill from him to sell the fight. If it's him versus someone we've never heard of, it makes it not really that interesting. So is he going to do three, four, five, six, seven, or eight of those? Like, I don't know. It does. I don't. I don't think that makes a lot of sense for him. Um, I don't think it makes a lot of sense for anybody. So the fight that makes the most sense is him fighting Tyron again. There's now a history. There's a backstory. Tyron also has a very big name. The first fight was competitive. Um, I think. Who else could you make a case for? Maybe. I don't know, Michael Bisbing, that's, I guess that's kind of interesting. Michael Bisbing's a pretty solid striker, has a big name. Chael, um, you know, I think, I think maybe that's interesting. Chael obviously has a really big following. I think I would, Chael's bigger, right? So Tyron was, I think, the smaller guy. Chael's bigger, but Chael maybe doesn't have the, I would think Tyron versus Chael in a boxing match. I would pick Tyron's skill over Chael's. Um, Anderson Silva, another big name. Maybe that's too good. Anderson Silva looked really good at boxing. And we obviously know he's a really high-level striker. But specifically, his boxing looked really good. So maybe that's too big of a jump there. And obviously, Anderson Silva is also bigger than Tyron is, right? Tyron Silva is a 185 and 205. Um, so I, I think Tyron's the most logical choice to fight again. I think from a competitive standpoint, it makes sense because the first bout was a split decision. It was very competitive. Um, so I thought Tyron looked good in his boxing debut. I enjoyed watching Tyron box. I'm really happy that he made a bunch of money. Jake Paul earned my respect. It's pretty evident he has been working hard. It's pretty evident at this point he's not a pussy. He took a few big shots, kept fighting. Uh, that's what I got. That's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my take on it. Peace.